Well defended. Cagliari aren't done yet though. Is Jao Pedro? So today, guys, back with the reviews on FIFA, and I will be looking at Jao Pedro. Um, the object is that you can unlock from the Serie A. The, it t took so long for me to get another review out because of how long it took to get this. Um, people leaving after one goal, or I get the goal but not the assist, or the other way around, and people just rage quitting. The teams I'm coming up against as well, I just built a, a quick city A squad that barely had anybody in it. And I was using people like Chris Keito at left back and things like that. It was absolutely shocking the squad that I used to unlock this card. And I was coming up against R9s, Ronaldinho's, full icon teams, full team of the season teams. And I know it's no excuse, I still need to play the game, but it's a lot more difficult to do these challenges with things like that. And because obviously the challenges are around certain leagues, You've got to keep building new teams to do it and then that will happen again when the next objective comes out and obviously there's the Eredivisie one as well so it is really annoying to do that and at the minute I don't have a lot of coins because I went for that Boateng. Um, I haven't done a Boateng review, uh, I can do if there's demand for that, I know there's not a lot of demand on my videos as it is at the minute but if there is I can do that. Um, but he is just a defender and he just does his job. He's, he's nothing special, he's nothing fantastic, but he's not bad either. Um, it was kind of a waste of coins when I seen how much I spent on him and then that Lukaku came out. I'd have loved to got that Lukaku, but I'm just not in the position at the minute to do it. So it's going to be objectives cards. Video tonight was going to be on the guaranteed pack that will be coming out at 6 o'clock. Um, this video obviously will be out after 6, but... I was wanting to do that but I think I'll just wait until tomorrow and do the rewards and I'll do a, a live come and see what I get in that pack. But this video is just going to be about um, João Pedro and what he's like in game. Back to why I'm not doing that pack is just so I haven't got a lot in the club at the minute so once I get some things tomorrow with rewards, foot champs rewards, I finished in silver 2. That is the lowest I've ever ever finished. The lowest before that has been gold 3. Um, gutted to finish in silver too but I just I don't know what it was at the weekend I could not beat anybody everybody I come up against was they were guaranteed to be a gold player just because of the red picks that they had unless they've done the guaranteed red pick or whatever it is a foot champs upgrade packs but looking at their teams all of them seem to be gold players or above I even come against somebody who clearly had a lot more than that just based on their red picks but again no excuse I should still be winning my games um, but yeah back to João Pedro objectives card obviously he's free but the time you put into getting this guy is depending on your ability uh, your division opponents things like that it is very difficult to unlock and I've, I've nearly had a, a nervous breakdown getting this card pull my hair out trying to get this card is he worth it yes because he's free but at the same time the objectives need to chill out a bit i mean it's the end of the year it's team of the season he's nothing unbelievably special i've played um about five games with him now and he is good he's but he's nothing special he's nothing that you would want to go and spend that time to get he's a 92 rated brazilian card that you can put into teams but he's nothing unbelievably special he's got 92 um, pace that's 92 acceleration and 92 spring speed he feels fast but he doesn't feel electric obviously i've got that Werner in the team i've got rashford other team in the seasons 92 pace isn't a lot now um but he still gets the job done there 92 shooting 96 positioning um i play him in cam and he's got four goals from the camp position in the first two games and then he's kind of dropped off a little bit but that could be because I'm trying to feed Werner a bit and things like that and I'm trying to get the um, the Eredivisie objectives card um, but 96 positioning, when he's in that camp spot he will run through 92 finishing, 94 shot power, he doesn't really miss his shots, he's got 90 composure 89 long shots, I haven't really tried his long shots, I'm always in and around the box now trying to get goals like that um, but volleys and penalties 88 and 88 his shooting overall is fantastic he does score lots of goals he, his finishing's fine, I've had no issues with that um, you'll see in the footage he gets a couple of goals before the rage quit but he, he's, he's a brilliant finisher, brilliant um, 
centre attacker, mid, brilliant striker, whichever one you want to put him in. Um, which brings me on to his passing. If you want to play him in that cam position, he's got 92 vision, perfect. Crossing 85, so you can put him in the 4 2 3 1 and have him on either side. 73 kick accuracy, use somebody else to take the free kicks. 95 short passing. I always see it with the triangles, the 1 2s, and things like that around the box. He's fine. 4 star um, weak foot, either foot, he'll pass 1 2, go, and that's all you need. Obviously, if you've got him partnered up with somebody else who's fast, who's got good passing, you'll always get them little breakthroughs with 1 2, go, in behind and 96 position and all allowing to do that so his passing's fine long passing 85 again from the cam position perfect if he picks it up deep wants to do an over the top ball he can do that he's got 86 curve with the finesse shot trait as well so his finesse shots are perfect whips it in and the card overall is it is a really good card but as i say it's just nothing special at this time and i think this could have been Maybe just an 83 SBC, right? But why bring a card out on a Friday when people are playing foot champs and you're restricted to 8 game mode? So I had to wait until I'd done all my foot champs games to be able to start unlocking this card. So I've got to play 30 foot champs games and then I've got to get 8 wins with a, a goal and an assist with, um, it was, I think it was just a Serie A player with a 4 star weak foot or 4 star skills. I can't remember the exact objective, but that's ridiculous allow me to do it in foot champs allow me to do it in squad battles I, or just make it an 83 rated SBC I know people might think that's a bit controversial but why should it be if you played FIFA all year you're still not going to be able to afford the Ronaldo's and the Messi's and things like that who if you're just a casual player so why not give somebody a card like this for an 83 rated team an 83 rated team is still a decent amount of coins but it, this guy is nowhere near the level of a Ronaldo or a Messi or a Werner or a Lewandowski, Hall and things like that. I would give it for an 83. It, that is fine. There's absolutely no need to just force people to play certain game modes. Rivals is sweaty. It is disgusting. Like I said, to get this card, I nearly pulled my hair out. It was awful. And... Foot champs is the same, but it's competitive, and that's what you get. So why why can't I go in and just oh, world class? Fair enough, we'll play against world class and do it that way. But they won't do that, and it is a shame. 83 rated would have been perfect for this card. As I said, it's all right, but it's not brilliant. It's not perfect. It, it has got its flaws, and coming on to them flaws is is dribbling. It's 93, but it's got 76 balance, and then he's got that 76 strength, so he can get pushed off the ball, obviously. You can put um, chemistry styles on to counteract that, but 76 balance at this stage of the game isn't great. You know, there's cards in the 90s, so that again is why this card should have been a lot easier or a lot cheaper to do. 89 duty though, so he, he does feel a little bit nimble on the ball, but it's not fantastic. 95 reactions, he cleans up in the box. If the ball's dropped, he'll finish it off. 96 ball control, again, he... he 94 dribble and 90 composure he's nimble in and around the box he brings the ball down well skill moves four star skills he can move it to each foot and get the shot away and finish and um, don't really need to talk about his defending he's got 83 heading accuracy with the 92 jumping if you're in a position to score an header you might be able to score an header if there's a defender there you can kiss goodbye because this game's ridiculous for scoring headers we've talked about that in the past 91 stamina, perfect for a striker or cam, just keep him up the pitch and don't have him running back all the time. That 91's fine, and the 96 aggression battles in and around the box quite well, but the strength and the balance is the issue, he's battling, but he's just, he gets knocked off the ball by, like, there's Van Dykes and things now, 99 Van Dyke. This is why this, I, I keep saying it, but this is why this card shouldn't be this expensive, because if there's a 99 Van Dyke in the game, and... There's all the other teams of the seasons that are coming out and they've got ridiculous defending stats but then they, they bring out these these attackers who they're hard to go after or because they've got 4 star, 4 star they start putting ridiculous price tags on them but the strength and the balance compared to some of the defenders they just get bullied off the ball and the 92 pace you're coming up against defenders now who've got that on their card because it's a team of the season card so they catch up with them anyway and then they just bully them off the ball and that's why you need the, the Verners, the Ronaldos and things like that so that's just why I'm saying about the, the casuals should get these cards for cheaper um, 
but overall he's, he's cards good enough if, if you are the casual a bit like myself I do play a lot of FIFA but I don't put a lot of money into it um, I am struggling on PC at the minute I don't know what it is I don't know whether it's a players or what but as I said that foot chance was ridiculously hard I just everybody was fantastic who I come up against and I just could not get my game going um, so yeah, he fits into my Serie A side of the team, for triple two, I've got the um, Bundesliga on the right hand side, you'll have seen it earlier on in the video. So, that's fine. As I said, good card, not perfect, not anything to write home about. He'll get you goals, he'll get you assists, but he won't absolutely steal the show, and he won't like beat teams on his own like Werner does, obviously, the 97 Werner, but... Again, that's just why I think they should be cheaper. I keep saying it, but that they should be. Tomorrow, my next video will be on the guaranteed pack, so I'll get that out. Um, hopefully, I can do both. It depends on the rewards and things like that. I don't know what the requirements are at the minute. Um, so, yeah, I'll do that. And, yeah, if you've got time on your hands, which a lot of people do at the minute, and you want to drive yourself insane, and you... You've got a steady A team that might just be a bit basic and you're looking for somebody to put into it but you haven't got the coins. Then yeah, I would go for Jao Pedro. Um, he will improve basic teams. But if you've got a god squad, you don't even really need to look at him unless you want him for fodder. Um, but yeah, that's all I can really say on the guy. He's alright. If you want him, go and get him. But you will drive yourself insane. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you soon.